Pleasant good morning to the nation, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. We have the joy and delight to come in the presence of the Lord this morning as we seek the Lord in prayer. No doubt there are so many things that are happening all around us, all over the world. So many challenges, so many difficulties that we have not yet gotten accustomed to. But this morning, it is a joy and delight that when problems confront us, when calamities seem to assail us all around, our refuge and strength is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 46, verse 1, tells us that the Lord is our refuge and strength, and he is a very pleasant help in the time of trouble. And so this morning, there are many promises of God written in the Word of God. In fact, the Bible is so replete with promises for guidance and protection. And there are many, many scriptures that we can refer to this morning. I will, before I offer the prayer, focus on a few of these promises. And then I will pray for this nation we worry quite a lot about things that we don't have any control over. But, you know, the Lord has promised us in Psalm 91 and verse 9, If you make the Most High your dwelling, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. This psalm is not just one that is personal, but it can be applied in our context in this situation. The nation can embrace this promise and make it a personal promise. Just as how we can make this an individual promise, a promise for our individual families, we can make this a promise for the nation that we are assured that the Lord is going to be near us. The Most High is going to be near us, that no disaster will overtake us to the point where we are consumed altogether. Then the psalmist also says in Psalm 32 and verse 7, that he will hide us, hide me, the psalmist was asking, hide me and protect me from trouble. And for the assurance, he says, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over you going and coming, both now, you are going and coming, both now and forevermore. So we have these promises of God, and there's yet another in Psalm 121. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. So there are promises in the word of God for protection, for his presence. And so this morning, we know the issues of the nation. We are faced with many issues, and we are going to have three focus prayers. I will focus on one aspect of the three, and my other two colleagues will focus on the others. I am praying for the protection and God's sovereign grace and mercy and protection on the nation even at this time. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, great God of the universe, Lord who is from everlasting to everlasting, who has no end or no beginning, the God who is the exalted sovereign Lord, creator of this world, creator of this vast universe, God who is awesome and majestic, but yet God who can condescend and be with us in our individual circumstances and situation. We come to you this morning knowing that you're not an absentee landlord God, but you are touched with the very feelings of our infirmities. You are present in the place and counterplace of life. 
you are a God who, Lord, have walked this earth. You have seen the travail and troubles that sin has brought upon the souls of men. You delivered. You restored. And so, Father, we are coming to you again this morning by faith knowing that you are still the God Almighty, the God who is our refuge and our strength, and whom we can turn to, even in times of difficulties and distress and worry and foreboding and troubles. You are a very pleasant help. And so, O oh Father, this morning, we call upon you as a God who watch over the nations of the earth, your eyes go over the entire creation. There is nothing that escaped your attention. And so this morning we are confident that we are talking to such a God. Today, more than ever before, we need your protection. Where else can we turn to for refuge and strength? Oh, Father, this morning we are asking in a very special way, for your protection for this nation. We are battling and dealing with the pandemic even now. There are other fears that has arisen as a result. Lord, we want your protection for lives, for the citizenship. We want your protection for families, for individuals, for those who we have, who we have set in key positions to rule in the affairs of this nation your protection over the prime minister and the cabinet, the opposition, and all those who are leaders of this nation. We pray for protection over those who have to do with managing this situation, the medical theme, the medical fraternity. Lord, we are praying in a very special way for your protection and your added strength and grace and mercy upon their life. Give them wisdom and understanding to know what to do, the right decisions to make even at this time because this situation requires even more than human wisdom and genius. We are praying, Lord, for the protection, O oh God, of all uh, of our uh, younger citizens of this country, of this federation, the youth, our children, those who are vulnerable, Lord, those who are in situations where they are so disadvantaged because of situations sometimes that they might not have even any control over. We are placing those in your hands as well. We saw when you walked this earth how you were so concerned about the poor and the or downtrodden and those that were vulnerable. We pray for your protection at this time. We pray for the protection of the assets of this state. We place all into your almighty hand. And we ask, O oh God, that even now that we might lift up our heads from whence cometh our help. We might lift up our eyes, as the psalmist said, unto the hill, from whence cometh our help, or help cometh in the name of the Lord. So God, again, we enjoin, we bombard, we, we, we implore your throne. And even though you are God on high, we know that you still look down low in the affairs of men. And so, God, we are taking this comfort, this solace, this assurance that you are a living, a moving God. You are a God who is eminent but just transcendent in, in our situations. And so we give you, Lord, this nation. We give you every circumstance. We give you every situation. And we rely upon your protection that, as you said, that your arms are not short that you cannot save your ears and not stop, that you can't hear or cry. And so, Lord, give us the peace and the assurance that you are watching over us. You are watching over this nation as we trust you. Our deliverance will come. And, oh God, may we give you the glory. May we turn to you because righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We call this done, and we give you the glory and the honor to no other name, but the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen and amen.